Hi you guys, I hope that you are all doing well. As I'm sure you've noticed, we are in a very different location than usual and I'm using my phone to film because I pretty much forgot to bring everything that I needed to film while we are away. But that is okay because we're using a coaster and a glass and a fake plant and lots of things to prop you guys up. So hopefully this will stay like this. But that being said, I wanted to share my like travel skincare bag with you guys because when I posted about my makeup bag, a few of you did ask to see my skincare bag. And I am definitely someone who packs more products than clothing when I go away. So <laughs> I thought it would be fun to share. Since I'm just filming on my phone, I don't know if I'm gonna do like any cutaways or anything fancy today so bear with me for a very casual video if you see people walking in the background if you see moose if you hear noises you know it's just gonna be that kind of video so hope you guys enjoy that and yeah let's break this open so I can show you guys what's in it I got this like years and years ago from gosh I think it was CVS but I think it was like a different name at the time and it just has three well I guess it has four compartments I store a toothbrush in this but technically for brushes then it has like a little compartment for hair accessories, some skincare that I put in like a plastic clear compartment, and then another compartment on the other side where you can put stuff that you're not worried about spilling. So I feel like the essentials are kind of boring, which is like, obviously I bring a toothbrush, I bring floss. I like this like Dr. Tongue's Smart Floss because it has like a little guard on it. So you don't have to worry about like anything gross getting on your floss before you use it as so you just like kind of swivel it and then it's protected. But yeah, so toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, I have all that stuff. The only really like hair accessories that I bring are things that feel like kind of essential. So I bring a couple of extra hair ties. Um, I bring one of like my French pins, which I tend to use more than hair ties, a couple of bobby pins, just in case I feel like doing something different with my hair. And then I always bring a pair of tweezers because I have rarely ever been on a vacation where I haven't wanted tweezers for something, whether it's like a splinter or a wacky eyebrow or something out of place. I just feel like it's always good to bring tweezers with you. Usually I would say like bring nail clippers too because I feel like whenever you don't have them, you get a hangnail, but I didn't bring them on this vacation. So fingers crossed, I don't get a hangnail. Moving on to the stuff that you guys probably care a lot more about, which is like what hair care, what skincare do I bring? We actually have hair care at the place that we're staying right now. And usually if you stay at an Airbnb, they provide like hair care and body care for the shower, but I bring stuff just in case. And right now I'm traveling with the Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner from Evolve H. I've tried these full size and really, really enjoyed them. And then I had these little travel size from a sample kit that I got. So I packed those and the sample kit also came with the leave-in conditioner. So I just bring this with me. I'm like such a huge fan of travel size products. I just think miniature products are way cuter than full size products. And I wish there was like an entire store that just stocked only miniatures for everything. Maybe that's a great business idea. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that here on the internet. These are a great way to try brands and then they're also great to pack with you. So I always save these. In fact, I usually will save the actual container and then if it's something that I really love and I have the full size, then I can just re keep refilling this travel size container whenever I go anywhere. Okay, skincare is usually where I bring the most stuff. I actually have a relatively pared down routine right now because I am trying a new brand, but I wanted to make sure, Lucy, leave it. Oh All right, so I have a furry friend to my right now and Jared is making plenty of noise next to me as well. So pardon the interruptions. Couple of extra staples. All right, well that did not last very long before Moose knocked over the camera. So we have reset um, and here he comes again. Moose, please behave yourself. Thank you. So like I was saying, I'm trying out a new skincare routine. So I wanted to keep using that even when I'm traveling just so I can be consistent. And then also just so I can get a review up for you guys. Cause I usually try them for four to six weeks. There's a couple exceptions. I had just like left a couple of products in here. I'm not really using them. I might use them, I don't know. But as far as skincare goes, I did bring my full size Emma Lewis hand products. So I have their uh, illuminating face cleanser, which is an oil cleanser. I have their Skin Reset Concentrated Even Skin Tone. This is like a vitamin C serum. Their moisturizer, which I'm absolutely loving. This is a supernatural night cream. And then I also have their triple vitamin A plus face oil. So this is the routine that I'm using from them right now. All of these are actually very travel friendly because the oil has like an open close turn knob on it. And then I also always keep these little things that come on products when you get them because 
I tend to travel with full-size products so this keeps it from spilling anywhere and then obviously everything else has like a secure cap to it so that is really lucky I do have a couple of mini products two of them are just left in here and then one of them I brought so two of them are Tata Harper products this is the Tata Harper regenerating cleanser I like having this on hand in case I do any like body SPF or anything I just feel like it's nice to really get like a good scrub on your skin and get that SPF off of you, especially during the summertime. And then I also have a little mini of their resurfacing mask, which is so cute. And these are so nice. I always keep these because these make great travel. Oh my God, I see Moose coming and I'm terrified he's gonna knock everything over. Go to your bed, go to your bed. Oh boy. Okay, I think we're good. So I always keep these because they just make such good travel little pots and I filled this one with a little bit of cleansing balm the naturopathica cleansing balm that I really have been loving just in case I need an extra double cleanse this is like the most makeup that I've worn this entire trip like I said in my last video I always bring so much and then don't wear any of it so I haven't really been needing a double cleanse I just need the oil cleanser but just in case. And then I also brought my handy dandy Dr. Barbara Sturm clarifying spot treatment. You guys know how much I love this at this point and I just don't really go anywhere without it because it's so helpful if you get breakouts and having lots of dairy, lots of sugar. So definitely I'm starting to see some things poking through and this just keeps everything in check. A couple more products. I brought my deodorant. This is the detox mode feeling free. So the baking soda free version. This is lavender and charcoal just smells really good, really fresh, love that. I have a razor that I forgot to bring out that's in the shower. And then I brought two sheet masks. I have these left over actually from my sister's bachelorette, which I planned. We put together like little goodie bags for everyone and put sheet masks in there and I got a couple extra. And I thought it would just be nice to bring on this trip. So they're Real or Real Beauty. They're the hydration masks. I hadn't heard of this brand before, but they looked fun and just have some like soothing ingredients. I thought it would be nice. And kind of fun to have. I brought two in case Jared wants to do one or maybe I'll just do them twice. I always feel like sheet masks are great things to bring on vacation just because they're so easy to use, kind of effortless and they pack flat, which is very important if you bring as many products as I do. And the last thing I forgot to mention, which is in my bathroom, is a washcloth. I always bring my own face washcloth just because my skin can be a little bit temperamental with certain laundry detergents. So especially with my face, I tend to use like my own washcloth that I brought from home just to make sure I don't have any reaction to any like fragrance or anything that might be on a washcloth at like an Airbnb. And I love the Pi double-sided face cloths. That's not news to you guys. You know this at this point. Those are some of my favorites. So I brought one of those with me. But that is everything that I brought with me. That's a pretty hefty amount of products. Let me know, do you travel with more? Do you travel with less? I actually feel like this is a pretty pared down version for me. And I like to set everything up on the counter. I like to unpack my skincare. I don't unpack my clothes, but I always unpack my skincare, so. That is just me. That's how I travel. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that this was enjoyable. Next week will be just a normal video and I'll probably do like an August favorites video if that sounds good to you guys. I'm sorry for last week. I, like I said, was at my sister's bachelorette and there's so much planning, so much coordinating and then the actual party just like took over. It was like a weekend away. So I was very, very tired by the end of it and I did not feel like filming. I did not feel like being on camera last week. I was fully in hibernation mode and just like recovery from the amount of like stimulus uh, and activities that we did. So yeah, thanks for being patient for that. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed a very casual video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means so much and I really appreciate it. And that is it. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.